Good morning. Happy Friday. Welcome to Yellow Rose Cosmetics. Me, Ava Michelle Hicks. Um, it is now like I'm gonna say eight o'clock in the morning. Heck, I don't know. So what I wanted to do because I've been doing testers for you guys. So you had the sweat tester with me on the bicycle. I still got bags. Shell's still waking up. It's early. Got to log in for work. But did this look right? You got the contour, blush, um, highlight, of course, my shadow. You have the lashes. You have a lip. The lip is. I have a mix here. I use my um infinity pencil in the color so flare i guess all over my lip right and then i also it's a lip liner but i use it all over my lip and i also lined it with my brown it's actually an eyeliner pencil but you know they go interchangeable see yeah very very rich so i use this on my lips i also use this for my eye but you gotta be very careful doing that because it's super rich so you'll be around here with really black black brows but again i have not gotten the brow pencil that i usually use so i like this on the lip which you can probably see and then i use my lipstick orthodox orthodox Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. Use that orthodox. And then, because I felt like playing, I ended it with this the LG23 from the other video lip gloss. I put it over and it gave like that natural pink nude look. Wanted to go down or calm it down on the lip because the eyes are so bold um, for my eyeshadow. I used a new palette. I'm sorry that I keep bringing this palette up, but COVID has my stuff on back order. So as soon as it comes in, I will definitely let you guys know. But I used the, the rainbow palette, the yellow rose rainbow palette. And the colors that I use are, I use, this color, this color. I actually use black so I can darker the inner. So I did black and uh, blended it with these two. I use this color and I use this color. All of that is on my eyes, baby. Right? And then the lash. Don't make me lie. I don't remember what the lash is. I'm sorry. I have so many. I don't remember which lash this was. I just picked it one of my lashes that I've already used. Underneath the eye, I just used the purple and then uh, my mascara. Yes, I also have mascara. My mascara, which is a lengthening mascara, it has the fibers in it. So it's a lengthening mascara. I use that on my bottom lash. Um, foundation, I'm going with a different color this time. I use on my face, because I did a swatch is that what they call it? Swatch? Swatched it? Swapped it? Whatever it's called. And um, the color I was using was a little light. Maybe because of outside. But I went with this color, which is FK135. I'm going to bring in some more colors because I think I'm a little bit in between this and another one. But this is the color I went with. Um, so I put that on all over. And then I also have my contour which is by with my contour powder. <sighs> Yellow Rose has contour powder. Guess what? COVID have them on lockdown, so don't have any for you right now. But when I do, I'll let you know. And then I topped it with my pressed powder to soften the look. And it's um pressed powder 140. These I do have in. Some people use these just as overall, you know, if you're this color. But it's a pressed powder, and then I just put it over um, contour to soften it up a little bit and then I have blush blush is Revel Revel is not on my website but I do have it it's the little cute palette like this it's Revolt I'm talking about Revel Revolt Revolt Shell reading this fundamental but these are only five dollars these are your cute little um, blush palettes that you have I sell these for five dollars um, so if you're interested in it just DM me but I just wanted to show you my face at 8 o'clock in the morning. 
And we're going to see how this joker look at the end of the day. Okay? Now, what's not going to last? Possibly in a slip. Because I'm going to eat. I'm going to drink coffee. Going to do all that. Right? Yes. Y'all like my wig. COVID don't be playing, baby. Because my hair is looking shot up. So I don't want to got me some wigs. Boo. Don't come for me. But anyway, I appreciate you guys. And I'm glad that you're on this journey with me. This Yellow Rose Cosmetic journey. We finna rock the world. But I just wanted to do another test before you. And I'm gonna go to work. Love you. Bye. Hello. I'm back. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's the end of the day. It is now. What time is it, baby? 5.45 p.m. My voice is gone a little bit. You know how you talk all day on work. So, I am coming back to show you how Yellow Rose Cosmetics makes makeup holds up all day. So, I came to you at 8 this morning, a little before 8 this morning. I should have put the timestamps on there. How you timestamp this joker? Where's my uh, watch? Hold on. I should have did that. My bad, y'all. But as you see, if y'all can see that, my watch say 5.46. It's 5.46 p.m. When I came to you this morning, it was about 7.30. Uh, this was real bad. They're a little bit better now, but they were real bad. Um, as I mentioned, <clears throat> the lipstick was going to go. I did put a little bit on. I'm sorry, I put a little bit back on, but I just put the gloss on. So you'll see that the color has changed a little. Because initially I had um the pink the orthodox color this color this color on mixed with some other items what i failed to tell you earlier is that i had um my i can't talk right now my um highlighter yeah on my face i forgot to tell you that in my video earlier it's the yellow rose highlighter it's in gold it's like the illuminator but i had that on if you could still see here so um the foundation that i wore earlier today that i showed you was satin satin in fk 132 fk 132 so this is medium, light to medium, and you, you can build it. It's buildable. Now, what I will say, what I will say is that I'm oily. I'm very, very oily in my T-zone, which is here and here. So, I am looking into getting on my line a matte finish foundation but my foundations are not currently matte finish but if you are oily this is your end of the day look this is without any touch-ups i've not done any powder i've not done anything so you'll see a little oil here in the t-zone in the eyebrow and um you see a little here but it's not bad. It's more of a dewy look. So if at 545, this is what you're looking at at the end of the day. Hmm. I'm still beat. Mm -hmm. Contour is still there. Highlight still there. Lip gloss gone. Eyeshadow still on point. Don't play for me. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. So, good makeup. I'm not lying to you. For the price, great makeup. So please look into it um if you don't see your color online just let me know and i will get your color because i do not have all of the colors online um being a business owner and doing everything which includes inventory sometimes you get a little lazy and uh, you don't put everything on the website because it's real tedious but i will get i will get them on and if you are oily when i do get in the matte foundations i will definitely do a video so you can see a whole nine hour day in the matte finish and you'll see if it's still oily but some of the other foundations that i've worn by now i look like i'm full-blown sweating 
full-blown sweating so this is still good 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 foundation and this is light coverage this is not heavy coverage um i'm gonna go because again i'm just getting off and i just need to decompress i ain't gonna say what that means but thank you for watching i hope you continue to watch i will continue to do these videos um if you have any requests on any specific videos let me know even if it's a goofy one holla except for essie essie is an app so i have to make sure there are apps out there with old lady faces unless i can get anaya my daughter um those who don't know essie i have a character called essie Mae williams so she's an older lady but um I would have to see if my daughter can create on my face an old look. If so, it's on. Essie going to be on here all the time. She'll have her own special day. But love you guys. Thank you.